da 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 Let's see what's on the internet today. Oh, hey, my very first movie review request. Cool. Cool. And the guy requested another one. And he wants another one. And he did it again. And another request. Well, it seems that this guy really wants me to review this movie. I guess maybe I should do it ASAP. Nah, I can do it later. And the tub. Oh, yeah. As cats, we really do hate water, but we also hate smelling like sewers, too. It's. it's. the lesser of two evils. Fine, fine, fine. I'll review the damn movie. Hi, I'm Movie Cat, and you are watching Fantastic Crap. Well, it is time, kitties. Time to wrap up our craptastic trilogy with our third and final outrageous turd of gold. So, this time we are diving right into a throwback to Z Drive In Movie Silliness by the name of Blood Sucking Ferus in Pittsburgh. Well, the name alone sir sure does grab attention, doesn't it? So, let's give this sucker our full attention and drive right into the heart of this madcap romp of goriness. We start off with a handsaw murder of a young man's prostitute parked in his car soon after the police arrive at the scene of the crime. Any veggie burgers left? Too late, Sarge. Oh, it's a parody of cop movies. Well, I'm sure the humor would be top notch. Anyway, the detectives find a clue on the corpse and investigate it. Did I say top notch? I meant, uh, well, it's comedy. I was half right. Anyway, we will now go from it's comedy to something it actually shines at. This time he took her brain. Oh my God. Hey, great gore effects. Also, this killer seems to like to play head games. Hey. If the movie can get away with bad comedy, so can I. Now, 
So, they find some Egyptian writing that they cannot read, and the prostitute's surviving customer tells them about the killer and that he was wearing an Egyptian hat. The two detectives then go off to talk about the case and give some backstory to one of the characters. But the only important part here is that we get a flashback of a detective slipping on an ear while chasing a murderer. <laughs> Yeah, it can be hard to nab a criminal who likes to keep an ear out for the police. Yeah, if you are allergic to terrible jokes, just stop watching here. Yeah. So, one of the detectives, Sweeney Birdwell, goes home to his wife who just may have a tiny, itty bitty little habit that she enjoys. Nothing major, I'm sure. Good God, she doesn't just smoke more than a chimney, she smokes more than a damn fresh nuclear holocaust. Sweeney, I wish you could spend more time at home, or we could have more quality time together. Really, movie? This is where you are bringing the jokes? Well, we didn't really expect PC-only humor in a movie named Blood Sucking Ferrous in Pittsburgh, now did we? No. No, we didn't. But enough of that. We have more cliches to get to. Just what this Sam fucking hill is going on here. Do you know who I just got off the phone with? Okay, movie. That is enough of that cliche. Two geek detectives who happen to be the lousiest cops on the force. <laughs> Never mind, movie. This character is fantastic. Give me that. Yep. Put that thing down. Easy, chief. You can't shoot him in the station. Why can't we have a movie that follows these two characters? So, Sweeney's wife goes to an agency that helps people quit smoking, and they show her a little film. Well, these people seem to be having a good time. Uh, hmm. That was just slightly a tiny bit WTF inducing, but nothing major. What the fuck? Also, the other detective, Joe, has a very sensitive stomach and cannot handle even the slightest hint of blood. So the movie and every character in the movie never misses a chance to use it to troll the, the poor guy. It's great to see you here, Joe. You gotta come down more often. This is a happy place, isn't it, girls? Sure is, Dr. Hoover. <laughs> we have fun, you know? <laughs> I would say that this humor is pretty mean-spirited, but I freaking love it. Today is Flo's birthday. Kel made her famous tomato salmon casserole. Show him, Kel. There's just something hysterical and fun about screwing with people. As a cat, this is a thing that I fully understand. Ow. Meanwhile, at the anti-smoking agency...
It looks like her therapy is going rather well. We have alternate techniques for difficult cases such as yours. I'd like you to meet Henry, your physical therapist. Will you inhale, please? Good? If only this woman had talked to James Woods first, he would have warned her about places like this. Meanwhile, the clues lead the detectives to a section of the city known as Egyptian Town. Yes, you heard me right. The Egyptian part of town. Long time since we've been down here, huh, Joe? Cops don't come down here much. The place has its own laws. They don't want us down here. Wow! Look at all the stereotypes. But I'm not gonna lie. This is kinda awesome. But then, they go to a local restaurant. Look behind you towards that corner. Don't be obvious. Wow! I've heard about these guys. Egyptian ninjas. Very deadly. So, the daughter of a missing man who has been helping the detectives on the case checks into the local hotel, but accidentally goes to the wrong room. What the fuck? Just have boobies. You gotta be fucking kidding. I don't think they're kidding, Joe. Yeah. They're not kidding, Joe. I think I am enjoying this a lot more than I should be. So anyway, the killer is revealed to be a waitress that is really out for revenge and doing some Egyptian ritual to avenge her father. But enough about the plot. Let's get back to what the movie really cares about. Eternal damnation city. Ah, did she soak him in the cradle of the ark or something? The Egyptian killer lady escapes with the other lady, but then this happens. Darth Vader, if he was a woman, and a smoker, and went through electrotherapy, and, uh, I don't know where I was headed with that joke. I guess I should have just said that I love this character. Yeah, yeah, I love this character. So, she pretends to be Anubis and tricks the villainess. Then, the villain lady and the hero lady get into a cat fight, and this leads to the bad gal getting smashed in a giant compressor. You can throw up any time now, pussy! It's gonna get ugly! Oh, I wouldn't want to miss this This has got to be the bloodiest character development I've ever seen. But that's not just it. It then ends with him getting his own revenge. Tomato salad casserole. Nothing like a happy ending of loads of blood and vomit. So, that is Blood Sucking Pharaohs in Pittsburgh. 
a very bizarre dark comedy that seems lame at first, but happens to be so strange and out there that it actually manages to be funny. Best of all, it is actually full of likable and memorable characters that actually have death to them. Nope, no cardboard cutouts here. Also, yeah, obviously the gore effects are top notch. This movie is surprisingly much better than it has any right to be, and much better than anyone would expect it to be. I give blood sucking pharaohs in Pittsburgh six hairballs out of ten. So there, that concludes our craptastic trilogy on our very first requested movie review. Hopefully, this review was everything the requester hoped for and wanted. Oh god! I'm sorry! time we are diving right into a throwback to Z drive-in movie silliness by the name of blood sucking pair fair pair poo boos foul boos oh here we go here we go with the mistakes I it begins anyway we will now go from its comedy to something that is ah uh, what's wrong with me Hey, great gore effects. Also, this killer seems to like to play head games. Hey. Oh, my microphone did a thing. I'm not sure it made a sound, but I guess we should start over just in case. So, Sweeney's wife goes to an agency. Agency? Agency, yeah. I probably had that word right the first time. Ah, uh, whatever. So, the villain lady and hero lady get into a cop... F cop fight? That's supposed to be cat fight. A cop fight? She's not even a cop. Neither of them are cops. What? Do you not spell check? Oh, that probably was a spell check error. Uh, stupid to neck tech do that. I, did I just mess up my own blooper? I meant to say stupid technology. I hate this job sometimes. And that's true. Cats hate water. But yeah, we, we uh, even, you know what we hate even more? Being stinky little sewer. Uh, I gotta rethink that line.